everybody and welcome back to the Mind Catchers channel. Today I'm going to do something really simple using the Perfusion Cosmetics Classics palette. I'm trying to keep this entire uh, tutorial very cost effective, very affordable, you know. So here's the palette right here. And I'm going to have the price of this palette, you know, right here in the video so you guys can see. Let's just get right into this. We're going to start off with priming our eyes now. Some people go straight into using a concealer or a primer base or something like that. Myself, I have very oily lids. I can wipe my lids right now and my hand is greasy. So eyeshadow really doesn't last long on me if I don't prime my eyes first with a primer and then I apply a concealer or a base. So a lot of people wanted to know that about me. So I'm just letting you know that's why. So I use the e.l.f. primer most of the time. I use lots of different primers. It really doesn't matter. But we're keeping this nice and cost effective. And the e.l.f. primer is about, I think about $2. So I just tap that on. And that one layer right there is going to combat all of my oiliness on my lids. And then it allows me to put it on a base. So I'm going to use the NYX base. Uh, this is their concealer, actually. This is in the shade Tan. And they have lots of other shades. I'm gonna leave links for everything that I can down in my description box. Because all of these are earthy tones, I'm using a base so that you can see them all against my brown skin. And never underestimate the warmth of your finger as a good blender. You can kind of blend things out or mold it, move it around with your finger because your finger is nice and warm. Now I do have a few of my Coastal Scents eyeshadows here just in case I need something, you know, other than what we have here in this palette. But I think I should be able to use the palette. I'm going to go into this shade Hidden right here. And I'm just going to set the concealer that's on my eyes with that. And you could always use your face powder, anything like that. The next shade I'm going to use in the palette is called Alert. It's right here. I'm using a Profusion brush too. I, I think I got this out of one of their palettes. So we're going to use that as the transition color. Everybody has like a favorite transition shade. My favorite transition is from Coastal Scents and it's called Oktoberfest. I still love that. I don't care. How old it is, I've been rocking with that for years. Speaking of Coastal Scents, I'm going to use one of their blending brushes and go into the shade Blink, that's the black in the palette, and start introducing that in the outer corner. I think I'm going to use a, a color that's not in the palette because I need something a little softer than black. So I'm going to use a little bit of both, but let's go with the black first. It looks like it's going to be very pigmented. Yeah, it is super pigmented. So when we have a black shade, we're going to start low. And until you build up the intensity that you want, you want to keep it low. Because if you blend it out of control, then you're kind of stuck. Because black is very hard to blend away. You're going to see it. Yeah, this is a nice palette. I love a palette with a nice rich black and it, it has one so very nice i'm gonna go into the coastal scent shade uh this is deep rose i'm trying to pull it out of the the magnet is so strong uh yeah this is deep roast that's a pretty dark brown and bring that right there on the edge of that black okay so you can see where that very deep dark black is out here and then it gets a little softer. So I did allow my brush to go into the black a little bit, just a tiny bit to blend the two. And we're gonna go back into that black. And with the black, I just basically stamp it, just tap, 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 and blend it very softly. You can turn your brush upward and blend like that to get your shape. Okay. And then we can go back into our brown, the brown that was in the palette, the alert shade, and you can go around it and blend out the edges. 
Now we know that when we want a shade to really pop, we spray our brush a little bit because I'm gonna go into one of these shimmer shades. I'm looking at my nails. I'm thinking, do I wanna go like a gold shade? Let's go into the shade Sunny. That's the gold shade there, like a yellow gold. I'm gonna take some of my e.l.f. Beauty Shield Spray. That's a nice mist and a nice flat shader brush. Okay, very pretty. I'm gonna spray it again. Pretty shade, very pretty. And I'm just tapping and feeling for the edge of my eyeball and that's where I stop. I don't think I wanna do too much more to this because you stand the risk of messing up what you already have going on. So I'm just gonna go around a little bit with that brown. I'm gonna put a little bit of deep rose, not much right there between the gold and the black. I'm sorry, the gold and the brown. So it's a nice transition. I'm going to take a liner, and this one is from Wet n Wild. I'm just gonna draw a very skinny line. No wing this time. I feel like that black on the outer corner is enough. We're just gonna apply a nice pretty lash. And just darken up the lash line a little bit. And we're gonna apply some mascara. This is Maybelline uh, Great Lash. And then we're gonna place a lash. And I'll be right back. Guys, since I went so simple with the look, I decided to throw on some very, very beautiful lashes. They're very fluffy, they're very big, different for me. These are from Amazon, let me just show you. I'll have the link for them down below. Very affordable, also. The Duo Eyelash Adhesive, that's what I use to attach them. Uh, the brush one with the clear glue. I love that stuff. And there you have it. So let me catch up this eye and I'll be right back. I don't even know why I stopped doing this eye. All right guys, I couldn't find any pencil for my bottom lash line, or my bottom water line rather, that I use. So that's actually drugstore. Everything is a little bit higher than drugstore. So we're gonna leave that alone and maybe take a little bit of this brown that's in the palette and run it along the bottom lash line. And this little brush is so awesome and I got it in a boxy charm. And I can't remember what company carries it, but it's a, like a soft pencil brush, it's so nice. Okay, so that was the lighter brown. We're gonna go back into that deep rose shade and add a little deeper brown down there. And then we're gonna use our Great Lash Mascara. Okay. That's what our eyes are looking like. All right guys, and like magic, I grew hair and I'm back. And I turned down my lighting a little bit because when I put on my wig, it's like the lighting went crazy. I, I don't know. So hopefully this looks okay. I'm gonna have to figure something out. Next, I'm going to use the Ellery pencil from ColourPop. And I think the pencils are only five or six dollars. So ColourPop had another collaboration with a young lady named I Love Sarah here on YouTube. And this was her shade, isn't that pretty? This is called Mama Sita, I think. And I think this is a, oh, it says ultra matte lip, so it's a matte. But it's such a pretty shade. Look at that. Ooh, fall vibes. That is pretty. Looks quite yummy, I think. And this is your completed look. Cyber kisses. And see you guys in the next one. Bye.